Now today ladies and gents we read that Neo was hosting an event in Beijing obviously where they gave us some of their uh, updates as to what is it that we can expect on Neo as the 2023 unfolds and uh, boy I must say I was excited by the some of the updates which of course they discuss or the president of Neo announced there which some of them was that of course they are charging parts or charging infrastructure ladies and gents expect experience 76 percent from the 13th to the 5th of august 76 percent of the people that were charging or using neos charging piles were byd and tesla which is something that must just show you that only 24 percent out of the neos charging piles during this time was used by neo clients which is something that must just show you that most of the people using neos charging piles are other ev companies which is why we uh, heard that the president of neo encouraged other ev companies to open up their charging piles to also the other ev companies so that they can be able to utilize and charge their cars so this is something that must just show you that it looks like uh, charging piles or those that are buying or owning tesla byd are sort of like enjoying using uh, neo's charging piles and it would make definitely make sense why they are doing that because obviously they or and the queues might be smaller as most of the people that buy the neo cars opt for battery swapping station or off opt to uh, subscribe to bars which entails them uh, instead of charging their cars they can just go to a battery substation and swap the battery in their car in less than four and a half minutes so i'm not surprised by this uh, i'm th uh, because i know that you might find that most of the charging piles that neo is a uh, giving or offering to their clients they hardly use it because they enjoy doing battery swaps now another thing that we got to hear uh, from that event coming from the president of neo was that neo plans to start of course uh, delivering two new models way before of course the deliveries of the es8 and the ec7 which were announced of course uh, in neo day 2022 uh, so what neo or what this means is that neo ladies and gents plans to uh, unveil two new models very soon and the deliveries of those models are expected to start much quicker or uh, faster or way before uh, the deliveries of the models we neo announced on neo day December 2022 and that is of course EC7 and the new Neo ES8 so this is something that is incredible because uh, not only will Neo uh, unveil two new models uh, uh, very soon but we are going to get start getting the deliveries of those models even way sooner than the models that neo unveiled in december of 2022 during neo day so these things made me to be really excited about the fact that even the delivery wise we might see neo obviously uh, seeing some good deliveries uh, very soon which is which makes me to be really excited now the model that i personally believe that neo or the two models that neo I definitely believe that they will be unveiling and starting with the deliveries before the ES8 and the EC7 is the new NT2.0 Neo ES6 with the NT2.0 EC6. You now you remember that those two models were still using the NT1.0 uh, platform. Now to get to see that, obviously, especially with the ES6, as it was the best-selling SUV, I think last year, uh, or it has been the best-selling SUV from 2020 coming to 2022. I think it, it is something that gives me joy because it looks like a lot of people really like that SUV. Now to get to see that we might actually start to see the deliveries of that um, uh, model uh, between March probably April of 2022 makes me to be really excited as uh, that is the model that usually sells a lot when it comes to the SUVs now also again with the EC6 I'm really excited because that EC6 you know that is like a sort of like SUV which is quite a beauty and I personally believe that that also model I believe that it will do well especially that I expect it to be cheaper than the E. C7. So I personally believe that these two models or the fact that Neo has said that of course they they are planning to unveil them during this year. They might even come earlier in terms of the deliveries before the ES8 and the EC7 and knowing that of course uh, that the EC7 is being or is starting the deliveries around May it definitely shows me or mean that uh, obviously we might see these cars being delivered around April 
uh, or even March. So um, I don't know or we don't know the exact time, but I personally think that it will be around April. We'll see the deliveries of these two uh, new models being delivered, which is going to be great uh, to finally see Neo delivering vehicles so much fast. I mean, I was very excited the, the the way or the kind of approach Neo took when they were launching the ES7 because the deliveries uh, uh, of the ES7 also didn't take that long. I think it just took roughly like one to two months. Then Neo started with the deliveries, which is one thing that some of the Neo investors were have been saying it out loud to Neo to say that. That don't uh, unveil a car and take long to start with the deliveries of that car but rather immediately after you you unveil a certain car they should quickly begin to start with the deliveries because what happens is that the longer it takes for a certain vehicle to be delivered is the more we get to see obviously the consumers uh, that had maybe pre-ordered that car cancelling their pre-order so the, f the fact that you know this time around they are thinking of maybe uh, delivering unveiling these cars and immediately start delivering these cars makes me to be really excited about that because i know that deliveries most definitely will be boosted by that so i'm really excited with the kind of news we received today i mean when i read or when i saw that Ni, the president of NIO announced that there will be two new models that NIO will be not only unveiling very soon but will start with the deliveries around April made me to be so excited because if the ES7 it is expected to be delivered around May I mean it, 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 it sort of like makes sense that we might see these two new vehicles being uh, starting with the deliveries around April so I'm very excited as I believe that this move will definitely boost the deliveries of Neo on a month to month otherwise with all that guys I just thought I'd just give you this quick updates if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like button comment and subscribe and once you subscribe don't forget to hit or click that notification bell so that at least you get notified by YouTube every time I drop a new content otherwise that's all from me and I wish you nothing but the best in your stock market investing journey and please you already know that this video was just an entertainment video and not a professional financial advice video however I would really appreciate if you can just hit the like button if you did enjoy this video that I was giving you about the latest developments around the NEO stock so uh, if you want to invest into NEO for the very first time just do please do make sure that you do your own due diligence so that at least you can be comfortable when you are investing onto this a neo stock otherwise that's all from me and i'll see you in my next video and god bless you all